how to unlock yourself from Shoreware Director. Right now, I'm going to log into my Shoreware Director. I'm going to try my default password. Doesn't work. I also put in another password. It doesn't work. So now I'm locked out. So there has been a user set, a supervisor set on the system. So for me to actually get access to it is to open up the database and take a look at the database. So I'm going to go and open our tool SQL YOG. I'm going to connect, test the connection, yes. And typically this works best when it's sitting on the server, the SQL YOG. I'm going to connect and then I'm going to select the Shoreware database, expand it to the tables, and I'm going to find users. So I'm going to select users and then hit table data. And this shows me all the table data. Now the one thing that you'll notice here is that I only have a couple users, but what you'll find is that notice that a lot of the GUI passwords are staying the same. Chances are those are probably going to be change me. Now for most people, if they don't change it, this is probably a safe bet. In this instance, I know those are set to change me. But let's say that they're all unique. And the one thing that I do know is uh, I want to default this back to admin change me. So what I can do is I'll go over to the right, and I'm going to look for role ID. And I should see somewhere where there, there's a role ID. And here's the role ID. Role ID 1 means system administrator. So if I want to blank this back out to admin change me, I can change this to null, enter, and then hit save. And this will update the database. Now I'll go back in here and I'll type admin, change me, and now I'm in with the admin and change me.
and now I've set up file based music on hold. Now all you have to do is call and then test it out. <laughs> 